Hello everyone, welcome to Beginner C++. This is going to be lesson number five, and today we are going to be talking about uh, the if statement. And what an if statement is, is basically uh, it's, it's a logic gate, which allows us to control the flow of our program. So let's assume that we have uh, an, a program that simulates an ATM machine. And let's assume that this program will display an error message if somebody tries to withdraw more money than they have. So let's do something like this. Let's set a, let's set a couple of doubles. And let's say we have one called account balance. And let's set that equal to 5,000.0. And then let's set another one called um, withdraw amount. Let's set that equal to zero for right now. And then we're going to see out and we're going to say um, how much, oops, forgot my quotes, how much money would you like to withdraw? And so now we'll just do a simple C in for withdraw amount. So now here's here's a question, right? We can say that this person shouldn't withdraw more than they have. Because to this point, we've always trusted our users to enter in the right thing. Um, an example of entering in the wrong thing, so let's say I just type in that. Well, this is clearly not a number. You know, that clearly can't be put into this. And if we try to do anything with it, it will error. Um, and it will just be a mess. But when we don't I don't want to say we don't trust our users, but there's definitely a million times where the user will enter something wrong or, you know, there there needs to be checks in place in programs. So what we can do here is we can set up an if statement and we can say if withdraw amount is greater than account balance, then let's see how... Um, error the amount you tried to take out is greater than your current balance and so when we run this um let's say that we try to withdraw fifty one hundred dollars and as you can see it says error the amount you tried to take out is greater than your current balance. Great. So what happens if it's less than their current balance? You know, shouldn't we output a message there instead? You know, like, shouldn't we give them some confirmation? And so what we can do here is we can say else. Um, and inside this else, let's do a C out. And we'll say you withdrew and we'll do withdraw amount and then let's do a couple dashes your remaining account balance is and we're going to do account balance minus withdraw amount. And so once we run this, let's assume that we want to take out $500 uh, from our 5000. As you can see, our remaining account balance is 4500. So now what if we want to have one other uh, scenario here, where we have a else if. So else if means that if this is not true, we want to test something else. 
Now, what else means is if none of these things are true. And so we'll get more into that next lesson. We're going to be uh, talking about nested ifs next lesson, which are ugly. Um, so let's say that we want to maybe warn the user uh, if they're trying to withdraw a lot of money. So let's say if withdraw amount is greater than, uh, let's say 1,000. And let's say, see out, it looks like you're trying to take out a lot of money, call your bank to confirm. Okay, so if we run this, let's take a look at what happens. Let's say we try to take out $1,250, and okay. Looks like you're trying to take out a lot, call your bank. So these are the basic structures that we're going to be using, uh, if, else, if, and else, to test uh, if something is within certain bounds. So for now, I'm going to just run down the uh, things that we can put inside of an if statement. So inside those parentheses is what's going to be called a conditional. And if that condition is true, we do whatever falls in between these parentheses and now, or these brackets. Now you don't actually need brackets when it's one line of code. However, for readability, I strongly recommend it. Um, that being said, uh, the way I think of it is whenever this statement right here is true, we're doing whatever falls in between here. And that's kind of the, the easiest way to think about it. Now, again, we have a conditional. If this is true, do some stuff. Now, else if means if the first condition wasn't true, check to see if this is true. Uh, so let's do if conditional, that's our structure. Um, there we go. Okay, and lastly, there's else. And else means if none of the things we checked are true. Now, by true, what I mean is, is this what we are expecting? Um, so there are times when we might be checking to see if something is not true which means that this would be true. So if I said that the withdraw amount is not equal to the account balance, then we can go through. Then that's a different story because there, there will be times when we need to check if something is not equal to something, if something is empty, if something has not been input properly. I'm going down the pharmacy. So a quick outline of the things that can possibly be true uh, or used to evaluate are called Boolean operators. And a quick outline of the Boolean operators we're going to be using, there are equals equals, which means equal to. Um, there is the uh, double kind of straight line. I don't know what those are actually called, the straight lines on a keyboard. Uh, I'm sure that they have a name, but I don't know what. Uh, that means or, which means one or more of the conditions are true. We have not equal to. We have 
not. We have true. We have false. And then we have a variable type that is called bool. And bool contains true or false. So those are the basic ones that we're going to be using. Oh, and uh, I suppose before true and false, I'll do uh, less than and greater than as well. So let's do... Uh, less than, greater than, and then both of those have a equivalent version. Uh, so that's less than slash equal to, and let's make a new line out of that greater than slash equal to. So those are going to be the basics of uh, what we're going to use to test if statements are true or false in C++. There are other ones um, that we won't be covering in beginner C++ that are called like bitwise operators. Um, we're not going to be ever getting into that because those usually cause more problems than they're worth. So for now, uh, we're going to leave this here. Next lesson, we're going to be using the same source code. So don't delete this from your IDE at this time. All right. Um, I will see you guys shortly. Have a good one.